Get ready to make an incense holder. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 26 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze an incense holder. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the incense holder which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have 12 ounces of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. After your clay is centered, Place your anchor hand on the side and your other hand in the karate chop position on the top. Then press the clay down and outward until you reach the desired width you want your incense holder to be. Be careful not to fold over the clay and trap water, air, or slip on the bottom. As you're pressing down, hold your sponge and slowly squeeze the desired amount of water onto the clay so you don't have to take your hand off the clay as often. Once you've reached the desired width, open your clay a little off-center, leaving clay in the middle to make the holder for your incense. Move back and forth with your sponge to form the tray of your holder. Pull the clay up on the outside to form a little lip on the tray of your holder. Five to six inches across is good. Compress the sides of the tray and form the holder by coning up the center about an inch and a half to two inches high. Smooth out the clay with a soft rib. Make sure your rib is on a 45 degree angle to prevent it from digging into the clay. Once the clay is no longer tacky and before it gets leather hard, make the hole for your incense. I'm using a wooden skewer. Spin your wheel slowly to find the center and push the skewer down.
Use the pointy end of your modeling tool and trim the extra clay off the base to make a nice foot. Then smooth out the lip with a small piece of chamois. Once the holder is bone dry, into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque fire at cone 04. After the bisque fire, wash with a damp sponge to ensure the glaze will bond nicely to the incense holder. Apply wax resist so you don't have to struggle with getting glaze off the bottom of your holder. After the holder is dry, it's time to glaze. Apply Amico Cosmic Tea Dust with the Artist Soft Fan Brush. Before applying, don't forget to mix your glaze well and pour it into a strainer to catch any clumps or debris that may be lurking in your glaze. After the first coat is dry, apply a second coat of Cosmic Tea Dust. If you have any problems with glazing, the article on 27 glazing tips for beginners will help. I left a link for you in the description below. Once the second coat dries, apply a third coat of Cosmic Tea Dust. After the Cosmic Tea Dust is dry, apply only one coat of Amico Celadon Marigold. glaze is dry, wipe off any glaze that's on the bottom of the holder, and into my scut kiln it goes for a final firing at cone 5. Here's the finished incense holder. The swirl shows up pretty good, and the marigold over the cosmic tea dust goes together well. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own incense holder. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video comes up. I'll see you in the next video.